Hi guys, it's Truthful Raining, and I'm here to prepare a nice chicken stew. Now here, as you can see, I have, I have a, I guess this would be considered a tablespoon of palm oil. I have roasted garlic, okay, garlic that I roasted. I poured olive oil over it, I put some adobo seasoning over it and I put it in my air fryer oven and I pushed the chicken um, icon I guess it is and I brought the temperature down to 300 and I roasted it for about 16 minutes give or take okay I have some baby carrots here I have one celery stalk that I chopped up okay can you see that all right I have um, a half a cup of scallion I have a one eighth cup of thyme, dried thyme, a red onion, and a white onion. And I have one scotch bonnet pepper, just one that I'm going to sit in there, two tomatoes. And I may sprinkle some rosemary and some turmeric in it. I don't know yet. But this is my chicken right here. These are all chicken parts that I cleaned. I left the skin on the back and the skin on the um, wing because it, you know, for healing factors, you know, they say chicken soup does something to you. Well, I took the skin off of the some of the other parts, but we're going to make a really good chicken stew with some rice and um, let's get started. Okay, now what I'm going to do is heat up my large Dutch oven pot. I love this pot. And I already um, put two sprigs of, um, or two things of roasted garlic that I had left over from the last time. But I'm going to use a whole bowl of roasted garlic. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I'm going to use a chicken bouillon cube also. I have to get that out for you. Okay. Um, yeah. Now, I didn't put my, I'm going to put my palm oil in so it can melt. Okay, it's real thick. I got that good palm oil. Oh my goodness, I love palm oil. If you haven't cooked with palm oil before, you guys, you need to start. It gives the food such a good flavor. And, um, yeah, I've been using it for years. Um, let me get something out here. I know I haven't been filming, but I've been trying to um, get other things done and, you know, just trying to stay well. It's hard out here, <laughs> out in these streets. Okay, I'm going to use a chicken cube right here. See, I'm going to put a whole one in there and sprinkle it all around. All right. And what else am I going to do? Hold on. And let me turn this down some. Okay. And I need my spoon. No, I'll use my wooden fork. And like I said, I'm going to put a whole bulb of... All you got to do is just squeeze it out. See? Squeeze it out. Squeeze it out. And it comes out. The garlic, that is. Yeah. Okay. Let me turn this off. Turn it down some because I don't want it smoky in here. Yeah, the garlic is really, 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 really um, soft. So I'm going to put that in there. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday, as I am. Um, yeah. All right, and I'm going to put the thyme in. See? Put the whole thing of thyme in. And I'm going to put a just a little bit of olive oil. A little okay. I usually don't put olive oil in, but I put it in this time, and I'm gonna stir all of this around. And my next move is after I finish putting the garlic in, my next move is to put in the um, onion. I'm gonna chop up the onion. I have a red onion, like I said, and a white onion. I'm gonna chop that up. 
once I clean up this mess. Okay. Yeah. I got up this morning. I said I was going to go out and do a few things, but I didn't. Sometimes you just need to rest. You can rest your bones. <laughs> and this is really a potluck meal because I just found some things in my refrigerator. And I'm just throwing it together. My mom used to call it potluck. I don't know what y'all call potluck, but tell me what y'all used to call potluck. Because my mom said, I, you know, when I asked her, what's potluck? She says, a potluck meal is a meal that you throw together and you pick things out of the refrigerator that you had. Or, you know, that's left over from, that you didn't cook. Or left over. And you cook it up, you eat it, and your lucky ass don't die. That's what she said. <laughs> That woman was brilliant. I miss her so much. Yep. Rosa Smith. That was my baby. I ate, She was known, better known as I.T.I. Smith at Riverfront State Prison. Because she was, um, uh, she taught um, cooking. And then she also taught culinary arts through Camden County College there. So she had two jobs there. Yep, but I miss her. And these are some of her cooking styles that I'm using. Once I get these onions chopped up, I'll show you what I'm doing, okay? I have limited space, as y'all know, for people who've already seen me. But yeah, cooking with palm oil is, oh my God, it's really good for you, too. I don't know the nutritional factors. Y'all want to look that up, but somebody told me that palm oil is, you know, it's good for you. That's what they told me. Of course, my African sisters and brothers tell me that. And look how beautiful their skin is always glowing. And I assume it comes from their healthy cooking and the use of palm oil. Yep, so I'm going to throw in my one half cup of scallion. Yeah, so it's getting ready to smell real good in here. So I got my cube in here. I got my thyme and all of this is just coming together. Oh god, it smells so good. I'm going to try to mash all this down. I can't find my wooden spoon. Yeah. Yep. Can't find my wooden spoon, so I'm going to find another spoon. But let it cook down. I'm going to show you how it's cooking down soon. Hold on. Okay. I got to clean up after while I go because I'm only limited so much space in my kitchen, so. Yeah. So let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to bring you up on it while it cooks up. Okay, can you see that? I think you can see that better. Yeah. All right, so I'm stirring it around. I'm going to turn this back up because I had turned it off because I didn't want it to burn. And see, I'm letting all of these... The thyme is what I really like. Thyme preserves your food, preserves your body. They say thyme is good for you. So yeah, I use a lot of thyme, and I'm gonna just sprinkle just a just a cap full of rosemary. Not even a cap full, about that much. Okay, just gonna put that in there, and um, I'm not gonna use the turmeric per se because I use turmeric in another seasoning mixture that I made, and I just might do that. I don't know. All dependent all dependent on how um, this comes out, and I'm gonna use. Um, Let's see. I got some white pepper. Yeah. That's about um, a teaspoonful of white pepper. And that gives it a nice kick, too. And, and I just stir it around. Like I said, I hope everybody's having a good day today. I hope you can see this. Yeah, let me set it back some. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm having a good day. It's always good in the hood. <laughs> Is that what we always used to say? Yeah. Soldier Boy is laying down. He hasn't really, he, well, he had cat food this morning, so he's good. Now, what I'm going to do is, I did sprinkle a little adobo over my chicken. I'm going to start out with my backs, my chicken backs, okay? Yeah, because they have that fat, back fat on it, and it gives me more oil, and I don't have to put any more oil in it. 
okay? Anything that has skin on it, I'm going to put that in first. This has skin on it. I don't know what that is. I think that's a, a thigh. You know, I'm going to put this wing in because it has skin on it. And this leg has a little, so nestle that, nestle that down in there. Yeah, anything that has skin. I'm going to put it in there. Oh, excuse me. Oh, man. Yeah, it's cold out here in these streets. So I'm going to let that cook down. Really well. Clean up my mess. Can't stand a messy kitchen when I'm cooking. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna take out um, a tomato cube. Because, you know, that gives a little flavor to it. Yeah. I like to put my tomatoes in last because I like to taste everything in my in my stew. Okay. Yeah. See? I have another tomato cube. Yeah, that's a good thing already. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can taste the palm oil, too. Yeah. I, I don't put a lot of palm oil in because this, um, my, this recipe that I use doesn't require it, but sometimes I do. Um, but I just like the flavor of the palm oil. And once it really cooks down, oh my goodness. Okay, now I'm going to throw in my celery. All right. And let me chop up my tomatoes. Add two Roma tomatoes. And I'm not making a big to do out of them. I'm just going to chop them up. Oh, man. Now, some people like to chop a really good and I don't. I just throw it in. And I take some of the inside up too. Yeah. Is it that tomato -y flavor? No, I'm not using any tomato, I mean any uh, ketchup. I'm just going to use the pure essence of all the fresh vegetables that I have. Remember, this is a potluck chicken stew. Yep. It's a beautiful Sunday. It's just cold out. Yeah. And I'm going to stir that all around. Yep. So, um, I really don't want to talk about much. I just feel like having a quiet day, cooking and watching television. Oh yeah, I know what I wanted to talk about. Did y'all see the Lifetime Salt and Pepper um, movie or documentary? Oh my God, it was so good. I really enjoyed it. I didn't know them girls was going through so much and they're younger than me. I'm like 56 and they're what, like about 51 or 52? So they were babies, and these grown-ass men were treating them like that? I can't believe that. Okay, now, I'm going to let that cook down some. And uh, then I'm going to throw my other pieces in. Yeah, these are the ones with the skin. I like that skin to cook down. The ones without the skin on. Yeah, that's the way I like it. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Yeah, you just let it cook, see? Let me show you. Let it cook. Doesn't that look good? Oh, it is going to be good, too. Alright, let's turn this around. So. Yeah, that was really good. I think I'm going to watch it again. Um... The things that women have to go through just to express ourselves artistically. Oh, my God. They say it's a man's world, but it wouldn't be nothing without a woman or a girl. Now, I see that these pieces that have skin on it are browning up. So now I feel comfortable putting the rest of the chicken in there. That way, 
they won't cook because these will cook fast the ones without the skin it'll cook fast yeah and um i'm gonna get my mess up out of here so y'all can get a better view yeah okay i'm gonna stir this around and what i do is i stir this around let it cook Hmm. Now, this is my opinion. I think it needs some adobo. So, for people who don't know how to measure, I'm going to measure it for you. Okay, I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put one. Let's see. I know people say, I don't know how to measure. And I want to measure it for you. I know how it is. I was like that too. Okay? I'm going to put this much adobo. Okay? And I use the all-purpose adobo in here. I'm going to just sprinkle it. Like this. Sprinkle it around. And what I do is I don't put that all of it in there. I, I sprinkle it around. Then I taste it. I stir it around because you don't want it to be too salty. Yeah, stir it around first. I don't sprinkle it all in there. Talk about my blood pressure high and you told me to put all this salt in there. No, I did not. I said I'm putting that much in the spoon and I sprinkled some. Now look at all that goodness in there. Mm -mm. Okay, now. Mm. See ya. I'm going to, and I still have this to put in there, so I didn't sprinkle all of the adobo, so I'm going to hold on to some of that that I didn't sprinkle in there. I still have some on the spoon, okay? I'm not going to sprinkle all of that yet because I still have a tomato cube that I'm going to put in here, okay? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to break that up, and I don't always put all of this in all at once. I wait and put the water in and let it boil, and then... I'll um, add the, the rest of it. So let me get some water. I'll be back. Hold on. Okay. I have one bottle of water, and it's um, 16.9 fluid ounces. And I'm going to pour this in here. Get all that goodness from around the edges. Yeah, I think that's all I'll need to simmer it. Because with these Dutch ovens, man, they you can put them in the oven or put it, keep it on top, put the lid over it, and I mean, it will lock in the flavor. Yeah, I'm going to use this whole bottle and um, let it cook. And go ahead and put the rest of the cube in. Because I think it'll give it flavor, the tomato cube. So I used a regular chicken bouillon cube and a chicken or a tomato cube. Okay, by Knorr's. And, um, let me stir this around. And as I cook, you know, I might add a little this and add a little that. Now, one thing I didn't put in are my carrots. I'm going to put them in now. And that's just uh, one cup of sweet baby carrots. That's all it is. I didn't do nothing special to them, but rinse them off real good. And I'm going to nestle them down in there. Yep, this is, um, oh, this one be so good. Let me stir it around. Mm, let me get a spoon. I can't taste that. Oh, boy. Yep. This going to be, uh, let's just see how everything's going to be after this election. Mess is over. Well, it is over. We have, Joe Biden is our new president, and we, uh, have Kamala who's our vice president, our first woman of color as vice president. Congratulations. I don't know how they do these politics, but I, I don't know. I'm just not a believer in it anymore. I used to get excited about it and everything. And, Did you vote? Did you? I don't do it anymore. So that's just me. But I hope everybody's having a wonderful Sunday. And, uh, yeah, can you see this? Oh, look at there. Look at here, look at here, look at here. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna let
about this cook. Oh, let me see. What do I need to put in this? It's something else that I'm forgetting. I think I need more adobo. I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of that adobo. So, yeah, a whole spoon or a tablespoon of adobo won't hurt. Yeah. Put that in there. I'm going to stir it around. Yeah, because you added water. And you don't need no more. You have to let the seasoning do its job after that. Yeah. Something else I wanted to put in here. Um, wait a minute. I know I'm forgetting something. Oh, boy. I'll think of it later. But at any rate, um, yeah. Oh, this pe the scotch body pepper. Just one pepper. I'm just going to drop that in there like that. Yeah. I ain't going to bust it. Because I like a little spice. Give me the spice, boo. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any tomato paste because I would put some tomato paste in here. Um, and I don't want ketchup because it's too sweet for me. Um, I like ketchup with my burgers, not in my food like that. <laughs> I'm just saying. I've done it before, but I don't know. The carrots make it sweet enough. Um, and I don't want... I have a turnip, but that makes it sweet too. So I, I think this is enough. Yeah. Um... Oh, I know what I can put in there. Um, I'm going to drop some ginger in here. That's also good for colors. Not that I have when I'm not sick. Some more onion, too. Yeah. Um, I'm just glad the election's over. Everybody's getting together. All this fighting and crap over people you don't really know. I, I, I'm not with that. I think that um, we are trying to regress instead of pro progress. And that's one thing we have to be careful of. <laughs> We're never going back to the way it used to be. People are not having it. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little ginger. See that? About that much. Yeah. I'm just going to try to break it up because it's like, you know, let's shrivel it up. But I said I'm going to use it anyway. Yeah, I use it for my tea usually. So that should give me a little flavor. And I like my ginger chunky, y'all. I know y'all was like, oh, she ain't even cut it up real good. I don't cut mine up like y'all do. Just follow the daggone recipe. Trust me, this is going to be banging. And you know you add salt to your discretion. I don't add a lot of salt. Okay, now I'm going to turn this up. I have an electric oven, or stove rather, and it's on six, so that's about medium. I'm going to turn this up to nine, and I'm going to go ahead and cover it up. Okay? And we shall return when it's done. I think I'm going to let it cook for about an hour. Yeah, yeah, about an hour. Chicken don't take that long, but... I want my chicken done. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And I'm going to get started on my rice, okay? I'll be back, you guys. I just wanted to show you guys something. Ooh, look at here. I got some steamed broccoli, okay? And I'm just going to put some tamari sauce over it. And uh, that's it. No salt, just tomorrow's sauce because there's enough salt in it. Let me bunch it all together. Let me turn it off first because it's done. I like mine nice and green. Yeah, bunch it all together and just sprinkle it. Sprinkle it. Sprinkle it. Yeah. That's good right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Steamed. Let me give you a little review. Okay. Steamed. Yep. I don't want to burn my camera. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and a stew. My chicken stew is done, I believe, but I'm just letting it simmer on four or three. But let me give you a nice shot of that because, you know, rice is almost done. But once the rice is done, we're in there. See? Ooh, I'm gonna come back 
that song. Look at here, look at here. Oh, doesn't that look beautiful? Look at the carrots and stuff. Oh, that's gonna be good. Okay, so let me finish cooking this and I'll be back. Okay. We're back. And this is the finished product. Look at that. Ooh, and guess who is on cue and in here? Look who's in here. Look who is in here. Soldier Boy, say hi to everybody. Come here. Soldier, say hi. Look, look, Soldier. Soldier, he don't want to say hi. All he's doing is flicking his tail. Soldier, what you want? What you want, little boy? He should want something to eat. Soldier. Oh, well, he don't want to talk today. But, yeah. This is the finished product right here. But we will plate up and I'll be back, okay? Oh, I tasted that chicken. It has a little bite to it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some melted butter over my rice. I hope y'all can see this because I can't tell if you can see it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There we go. Yep, and that's my meal. We have my rice, we have the steamed broccoli, and we have the stewed chicken. I'll be back after I plate it up, okay? This is so good. Again, this is true for rating. Look, the rice came out perfect. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up. Look. Oh, it's, it got a little flavor out because I used a small scotch bonnet pepper. And the chicken came out nice and tender. Look. See that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's hot. Well, it's cold outside, but it's hot. That's why you have, I have the fan on. And we have a certain cat that's sitting here hitting my leg. Look. There he is, Soldier Boy. Yeah, you're guilty. Okay, you guys. Thank you for watching. Again, this is Truthful Rating. Have a blessed day.